give it a bit of pride and try and at least finish the game in, in, in better style. But obviously the Eagles will want to be making a real statement here. It's Eagles will get the ball on their way and Flanoy finds Kyle Williams who definitely thought about that's a nice little move from Kyle Williams. Nice shake of the hips and drove past Brian Hamming into the basket and two points. To Shawnee Much, Lucas turns the corner. Kyle Williams all the way with him. Darius Defoe now with Brian Amming, who turns, can't make the shot. Jeremy Smith comes away with the rebound. He's going to go coast to coast here. There you go. Drives all the way, lays it in left handed. Two more points for the Eagles. This is one of the things we saw about him in, in both in practice and on video pretty much in trouble as he went coast to coast then he has Lucas so finding much much trying to find neighbor inside but decides to shoot the three and makes a very almost enough balance three and, uh, from distance over Ramon Fletcher well I think Fletcher was a bit disappointed that he actually took the pressure off yeah. oh come on referee call the foul on Will Neighbor And for the first time tonight, we're seeing uh, number nine, Josh Rogers, comes on in place of number seven, Deshawny Much. Kyle Williams was never going to get that three point off. No. Oh, now, yeah. Will Neymar thought he got a clean block on that, and he was called for the foul. And Kyle Williams went up to shoot the three. Will never thought he got a clean block, but was called for the foul, and then obviously disagreed with the referee's decision, and has been given a technical foul. Frustration. I think. Can't so. think of anything I, else, I, mate. I, I, to to me, it looked like you know from where we're sitting, it looked like a clean block, but maybe he followed through and made contact. And that's Will well, never out of the game yeah. because the foul, the shooting foul, the foul on the shot was his fourth and the technical foul was his fifth and when you consider he was uh, top scorer and the only one who looked in any cohesion in, on yep. offence that's not helping that cause at all so Fletcher shoots the free throw the technical and misses his second technical oh, free maybe, throw maybe the they're gonna, Eagles are going to have to talk about who takes these <laughs> technicals technical throw, <laughs> yeah. I think it may be in his contract there to be honest yeah. uh, well, let's, let's talk about the guy on the line Ka Kyle, Kyle yeah? Williams. yeah Kyle Williams yeah I mean British passport holder yeah what a, what a find on the evidence of what we've seen so far, he comes out, he gets on with the job, looks like he's enjoying himself the way he plays, got some talent, and that having that passport's massive. I think that's uh, you know, there's one or two people who are questioning you know, when they released Ahmed Thomas, they're, they're looking at Kyle Williams as well. I, mean, I haven't seen enough from him, but I think the one thing you do see is the British passport. Yeah, and, absolutely. And, and, you, and you've got the time to develop that, 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 that talent that he obviously has yeah. got. And the, poten and the potential. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Makes only one of two though from the line, but there's Brian Amming, throws the ball straight to Ramon Fletcher. He gives it out to Kyle Williams again. Kyle Williams looking for a three. The young boy probably can be excused that shot with a score at 79 to 48. There's Lucas, he can't gather it in. Kyle Williams gives it to Fletcher. Fletcher back to Kyle Williams. Kyle Williams, oh, too strong off the glass. Wide open Leo, but it's, he's too strong off the glass. It's too near the basket for yeah. him. Yeah, it's Brian Hammond, he he's probably got to work on for now. He tries to turn the corner, turns around, throws in a bullet pass to number three, Wofford Humphrey, but Wofford Humphrey can't, can't pick I, that up at all. I'm not surprised he couldn't catch it. I mean, that was, that was a pass, in my opinion, made out of frustration. Yeah. I mean, you know, he, he thought he'd got a good position, but Fab was so tenacious with his defence. And I think that's what he hasn't come up with in, in, so far until tonight. He probably, when he got that position in the other three games, he's been able to lay it in for a point. There's Smith splits the defence, and then for a nice two-pointer from Jeremy Smith, who's almost, who's now into double figures yeah. in his first game. Starting to look uh, better, isn't he? There's Rogers driving against Flanoy. He'll learn very quickly in the BBL. He can't always drive against Flanoy. Fletcher was probably looking for another assist there. I think there. he was spoiled for choice there, yeah. but the right one would have been, I think, to Kyle out here. Kyle. Yeah. And so easy, it's so easy to play, of course, from here, Jack. 
Yeah, you sometimes wonder when the players are down there how they see some of the things that see, particularly the point guards, somebody like Ramon Fletcher, for instance. He's got the ball now, and he, he, he has two. And there's a perfect example with Darius the phone messes his assist up. How he picked the pass through, pe two people bounce pass, but Darius the phone's shot from the elbow was, was way off. But the Eagles will not be worried with that. 81 48, and I don't think anybody expected. I think a lot of people probably expected the Eagles to win, but uh, not at all. Oh. And there's a, there's, a, there's a real highlight reel. Oh, fantastic play from the Eagles. Two, two bits of play there. First of all, for Roy blocking Brian Amming at the defensive end. Gets the ball to Jeremy Smith. And a, and a really lovely pass from Jeremy Smith to Darius Defoe, who laid it in. And Eagles now up to 83 48. All in Jackman driving to the basket, picks up two points. Oh, Jeremy Smith really, really celebrated that yeah. uh, assist. It was a great pass. It was just something a little bit different, but I think. Once when, when the coaching staff sit down and look at the video, they'll remind them that we do a celebrating at the end of the 40 well, minutes. Well, what I hope to say to him is he's doing things within what is good oh. at here. And now, know, he's, he's taking he's shots alive. where he's got a cleaner look, mm. he's making good passes, he's making good movements off the ball. Before he was just first, but he was really anxious to score. And again, you'd have to think the, the coaching staff have good, done a good job on that, to, probably talking to him at the half. He certainly come out looking at the player that they hope there is now up to 13 points and the Eagles have five players in double figures <laughs> Brian Amin hearing it from the Eagles crowd as he goes to the bench in a very frustrated walk to the bench as well Eagles leading by 36 points 86 to 50 defensive masterclass from the Eagles tonight Really, London have had no no answer at all. Although this fella Dushan really has given it his all. Throws up an alley up there for Wofford Humphrey, but Wofford Humphrey missed the timing of it, and that's another ball that the Eagles will take out from the end line. There's another missed opportunity for, for London. Jeremy Smith finds Fletcher for Noy, gives it to Kyle Williams. Kyle Williams up for three and in for three. And it's, uh, You'd have to say it's getting a little bit embarrassing now for the London City Royals. Six minutes to go and it's 89-50 to 50 in favour of the Eagles. The Eagles certainly not taking the foot off the gas. As Josh Rogers tries to come inside. He gives it to Much, who I suspect will try and go one-on-one -on -one here against Fletcher. He does, he misses the shot. Darius Defoe gets a hand up. Smith cleans up. He's going to go close to goals. No, he's not. He's going to give it to Kyle Williams. And Kyle Williams knocks down another three. And now it's 92 to 50. Not really sure what I can say, David. Well, it's... sit back and enjoying most of the game. Yeah. It's, it's... Absolute fantastic performance from the Eagles. Everything they've done virtually has come off. Uh, to foul this time on Darius Defoe. All in Jackman trying to find some points from somewhere. Brian Amming sitting on the bench there with next to Will Neal and the pair of them cutting very disconsolate figures along with the coaching staff who kind of look as if they, they just don't know what, what's happened to them yet but it, it, it'll probably be a, you know we often talk about in adversity you learn a lot more oh yeah for sure and I think that's one of the things that London will have to take on board tonight that they found out what the BBL is all about tonight Well, and Jackman misses the first of his free throws. Jackman for the second one. Makes the second one. Takes him over the 50 point barrier, 51 points, but we've got 92 against them, and he is looking for the second game to look to, to rack up 100 points. So I know they've got um, Surrey Scorchers coming, I think, in a fortnight. Yeah. Have they got uh, anything on the road in between? No, it's the All-Stars next Sunday. Oh, I can see, it's okay. It's BBL All-Stars in the Copper Box, that's next Sunday. Uh, tickets still available for that event, which was a fantastic event last year, if you were there. Something completely different for basketball fans to, to look at five-point shots and...
double bo- double golden buzzer to double your points. I remember seeing it running, last year. It was fun to watch. Running clock, it was. It was a lot yeah. of fun to watch. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's not basketball as we know it, but it was a lot of fun to watch. And as I say, that's yeah. next Sunday, the 14th at the Copper Box, and uh, tickets still available for that. You know, yeah, Kyle. Kyle Williams, oh, that's a nice pass from Jeremy Smith to Darius Defoe, who's working against yeah, Wofford Thomas, uh, Wofford Humphrey. Darius just didn't quite, I mean, get that clean and had to rely on the bounce, and of course it was the bounce that gave them the time to get all over him and stop him putting the ball back up. But at least he's got to the line. I mean, in terms of, you know, no games next weekend, you could say Haggy the London will be really pleased about that, but the Eagles, I think, would have loved to have had another game next weekend after this performance tonight. But it, it, it takes them, you know, I mean, obviously they'll go top of the BBL tonight, right? We know Leicester haven't even played a game, BBL game yet. So obviously there's still a lot of things to be sorted out. And it's too early for this to be a decisive game. But oh. one, one thing is, it, Eagles have made a bit of a statement and London City Royals now know they're, they're in the BBL. Well, what they do know, beyond any question of doubt, is that the top teams in the BBL are not going to take them lightly and they're going to absolutely get themselves prepared for when they play the Royals we just wondering 4.34 to go on I'm just wondering when we go oh the Dusha makes in the two takes him into double figures well you know Dusha I think gets himself some credit tonight Will Neighbour does I'm not totally sure where else we would analyse any of the players and say that uh well, in, on the evidence tonight, and, I, and, it, and I, it, 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 would, it would be a bit harsh for me to say this, but I'm still going to say it, is that Ed Lucas does look like a BBL starting point guard. But then again, oh, that, that was a nice, that was a very nice play from Deshaun De Mochu. Came the full length of the court, court and then two-handed slams, he got free. Just thinking about Ed Lucas, so, he, you know, but then again, you don't play against Ramon Fletcher every week. Fletcher finds the four, who shots off. Smith can't get up for the rebound. Jackman takes the rebound. He's going to go coast to coast. Tries to find Wofford Humphrey, but that pass had more chance of finding me up here than it did Wofford Humphrey. Yeah, I mean, get the ball to your point guard, set some things up, and, and really think about how the way you're going to work as a team, ready for the next game. And this is the point I was just about to make. Would we see Eddie Matthew and Temba Yabantu? Kyle Williams getting a fantastic round of applause from the Eagles fans. Very much deserved. Four or seven from downtown. Four rebounds. Fifteen points in only sixteen minutes. Or nearly seventeen minutes. Oh, what a great pass from Flanoy to Fletcher cutting to the basket. Eagles once again picking them apart. Ninety-six to fifty-five. Now the score. And here's uh, Eddie Matthew on for Kyle Williams. And I think we're about to see Temba Yabantu get his, his minutes as well. They shot him much. Oh, he shoots that three almost off balance, even when he's not guarded. Very strange shooting like this. Flanoy tried to find Matthew, but that pass is a little bit too low. And I think we could see Wofford Humphrey. Yep, he makes the two point at the other end. Eagles, I think, are going to call a timeout. Just to talk about things, because they're going to put Temba Yabandu on as well. And I think they just want to make it clear who's going to be on court and what they're going to be doing. 